Tatarstan is the jewel in the heart of Russia, a place where history and future coincide, and cultures and religion coexist in peace and harmony. Come discover the treasures of Tatarstan. Kazan is a unique and beautiful city, dating back over a thousand years, a perfect combination of history and modern infrastructure. Just one hour's flight from Moscow, Kazan is one of the most popular tourist destinations in all of Russia. Visit the UNESCO-listed Kremlin, where you can see the Kul Sharif Mosque, the Suyong Bek Tower, cathedrals and palaces from all eras. In the course of a day, you can start by wandering the shops of Bauman Street, visit our new FIFA-approved stadium, and end the evening in our fabled opera house, home to the Nureyev Ballet Festival. The best restaurants and nightlife will entertain you into the early morning. Fast-paced, diverse, cosmopolitan, Kazan boasts all the luxuries of a modern city. A few hours south of Kazan, you can explore another treasure of Tatarstan, the ancient city of Bolgar, the birthplace of Islam in Russia and the cradle of the modern Tatar people. The first settlers appeared in Bolgar over a thousand years ago and established a settlement which soon turned into the biggest trading city on the Volga River and a crossroads of culture. A mission from the Baghdad Caliph arrived in Bolga in 922. Emir Almush was amazed by the power of Allah, so he adopted Islam, which brought new life to Bolga. Bulgar thrived economically, politically, and culturally. But eventually, tragedy fell upon Bulgar. The city was invaded, first by Mongolian Khan Batu, then Tamburlaine burnt the city to the ground, and finally Vasily the Dark, great prince of Moscow, completely destroyed it. Once powerful and thriving, the life of Bulgar faded away. Today, the ancient city of Bulgar is one of the most famous historical centers in Tatarstan and in all of Russia. And it has recently been included in the prestigious UNESCO World Heritage List. Muslims from all over the world visit Bulgar. This is the main celebration for us. Today, you will see here an enormous amount of people, not only from Tatarstan, from other regions, also from abroad. The White Mosque and the memorial sign were built to commemorate over 11 centuries since the adoption of Islam. In the memorial sign, you will find a unique exhibit, the largest printed Quran in the world. Bulgar is a place as close to the hearts of the Tatar people as the words of the famous poet Kol Gali. Here, religions and cultures peacefully coexist. Bulgar is the perfect place for anyone who wants to immerse themselves in history. Not just Muslims or Christians, everyone will want to come to experience this historical treasure. To reveal the past of this ancient civilization, to see its present and witness the future of this great city, come visit the ancient city of Bulgar. The Volga River itself is a treasure of Tatarstan. The longest river in Europe takes trade and tourism throughout our region, connecting Volga to another of our historical sites, Sviask, island of war and peace. Driving slumber from his eyes as the sun rose in the skies, our princeling, much amazed, at a spacious city gazed, girdled by a wide and tall, strong embattled snow-white wall. Church's golden dome stood there, holy cloisters, mansions fair. Four times, Ivan the Terrible tried to capture the city of Kazan. Four times, the Tatars bravely defended their city, beating back the Russian troops, sending Ivan back to Moscow. Imagine a man who crowns himself the first Tsar of all Russia at 17, who doubles the size of the Russian Empire as far as Siberia. Many people would call him Ivan the Great, but in fact, he is known as Ivan the Terrible. Legend said that Tsar Ivan had a dream of building a fortress town that could help him capture Kazan. 
Following the Tsar's order, thousands of builders began working the whole winter by constructing a town a thousand kilometers from Kazan. And in the spring of 1551, the entire fortress was disassembled and floated down the Volga to Sviask. Within just four weeks, the wooden fortress town was erected on the island. Needless to say, the construction of Sviask in such a short amount of time is a truly unique thing. This fortress town became a garrison that allowed Ivan the Terrible to conquer Kazan and enlarge the territory of his Tsardom twice. where two great civilizations clashed, a new Russia was born. Here you can see a model of the island of Sviask. It is an area of 63 hectares. Fairy tales, bravery, religion, wars, revolutions. It's all here on one small island. Here you can see the only remaining wooden church on the Volga where Ivan the Terrible prayed. The Mother of God Cathedral will amaze you. The Church of Assumption is unique for its many murals, including a one-of-a-kind St. Christopher fresco, and even one of Ivan the Terrible. The island town of Sviask is more than a historical or spiritual place. It is a treasure of Tatarstan. It was an island of war. Now it is an island of peace and harmony. Some say the ghost of Ivan still haunts the island. Come see Sviask, island of war and peace. Close to Kazan, you will find Yelabuga, a city that has preserved its 19th century merchant town heritage, and it's home to the famous Russian painter Ivan Shishkin. Tatarstan is a land of peace and tolerance, a truly unique place with a rich history and bright future. There is something for everyone. This is where past and present intertwine. Tatarstan, the treasures you have been looking for.